In dazzling late summer sunshine, the 20th Monaco Yacht Show presents a spectacular panorama. Hundreds of the world's newest, most impressive and luxurious yachts competing for attention alongside their glistening and glamorous rivals. Down at sea level, divers are adding a final surface gloss to impress potential customers. Gymnastic crew members are making certain the exhibitor's flag is flying high. Super yachts which have sailed in for Monaco 2010 range in price from 10 to 100 million euros. It's an event that the companies building, designing, chartering and selling luxury vessels of 30 feet and above cannot afford to miss. Yacht owners are looking for different things from different yachts. I mean, we're here today, there's more than two or three hundred yachts in the boat, in the Monaco Boat Show. Um, and all of those yachts are different in different ways. Some are there to show off, some are there for speed, some are there for comfort, some are there for style. Every owner's different, every boat's different. And even with boats that are made a standard, they're not customized. Even those ones are different to an extent. Among the major players offering something different this year is Fraser Yachts with the Yachting Villa concept, the H2OME, which as the name H2O Home implies, is a villa on the sea. The whole design idea behind the boat was to give its guests a feeling of inside and out. So you have these large windows through which you can see your surroundings in the sea. Um, if you look behind us and compare it to the far smaller windows of a far larger vessel um, neighboring us during the show, the idea is that the view from inside the boat brings the guests much closer to, the, to, the, to their surroundings. It also helps the reflection of the surrounding sea and bay off the windows um, seamlessly blend the boat into her surroundings. There's much business to be done around the yacht show itself. Thomas Floer is the founder and chairman of Vistajet, the expanding luxury private aviation company, and he's birthed his Nina J in Porte d'Hercule within cocktail invitation distance of the official show, knowing that the jet ski set are just as interested in jets. We as Vistajet, we're using this Nina J you're on right now as our platform because it really resembles of what uh, you have as an experience in the airplane. And the silver color of the yacht with the red stripe and is exactly what you find on the tarmac. So both from an outside look point of view as well as from the experience within the aircraft and on my yacht uh, very much resembles of what we're trying to show our clients. Obviously people who own yachts, they uh, have the financial means to fly on private jets and uh, they love to experience it and uh, we have uh, gatherings here, we meet with colleagues, we meet with industry experts. It's an amazing platform where everybody's in the same town. Helicopters are by now familiar accessories which add a further dimension to the world of the luxury yacht. But this year there's something new on the horizon, the mini submarine. We all live in a, yellow submarine. Yellow a Dutch company U-Boat Works is making the undersea world accessible in a new way by developing submersibles which can take passengers. A version which could take up to five people beneath the waves is being developed. This submersible can descend to depths of a thousand meters, but unlike scuba diving, this chamber is maintained at the normal atmospheric pressure for humans, so there's no need to make decompression stops. Intrepid potential buyers of the new technology were keen to take a test dive into the unknown. It was an amazing feeling when we go down. The big yacht owners are trying to find another toy on their yachts. And uh, they already have a helicopter, they, are, they already have jet skis, they already have a lot of tenders and they're searching for something new. They can show it to their friends, look what I have now, I have an own submersible. Behind the fun and novelty of the Monaco Yacht Show 2010, the luxury boat industry still lies in uncertain waters in the wake of the world economic crisis. Yachting Partners International are presenting a new boat, their Mary Jean 2, but are also keen to sell yachts developed earlier in a buyer's market where big spenders have never had a wider choice and boat producers are not yet out of danger. 
it's an uncertain market. This year is a lot better in terms of uh, all aspects of the super yacht industry than last year, which in some ways is not really saying that much. Last year was a terrible year for most people in the industry in terms of buying and selling super yachts, chartering super yachts, building super yachts. There are some great deals to buy uh, on the market today. If the quality of yachts that are available today are higher than they've ever been, there are more of them than there ever has been before, and you can pick them up at prices that you could never dream of buying at before. Away from the main show keys, YPI's Explorer Yacht, capable of taking adventurous owners into even the coldest of the world's oceans, lies at anchor amid a flotilla of other participating boats, extending the range of the biggest ever Monaco yacht show.